Hey guys, welcome to February. It's February 1st. I know, holy smokes. And we're gonna kick off the month. We've had a very busy weekend, as you saw, so we spent most of today recording for the main channel for yep. the upcoming week and editing this morning. Mm -hmm. So what we're gonna do is viewer Q&A to kick off the month of February. Yay! So let's dive right in. <laughs> this is gonna be the whole vlog today. It's gonna be viewer Q&A day. Q &A day. You guys seem to like it and you leave yeah. great questions down below. So yeah. if you have a question for us to answer in a future Q&A video, leave it in the comments of this video right here. Mm -hmm. The first question comes from Alexis, Lexi Sparkles Lanier. And Alexis asks, are you guys ever going to do a meet and greet? I'm sure we're going to do a meet and greet at some point. Yeah, we don't have any information at this time, but maybe this summer, maybe at MLP Fair? I don't know. If anybody out there in the audience knows anybody who like runs a uh, pony convention or a con of some mm -hmm. sort and needs any uh, meet and greet guests, reach out to us. Binstoypen at gmail.com. Yeah, if, you, if, if you want a moderately popular YouTube <laughs> channel personalities <laughs> that is into my little pony yeah give us a call yeah all right lauren osborne asks can bin get her own bin's crafty bin channel and can you do more reviews on your main channel currently i don't have any plans in getting a bin's crafty bin channel it's extremely hard to maintain two channels this vlog one and the main channel as it is because we have a video every single day and some days we have two videos and there's a lot of work that goes into doing the videos. Probably more than you would expect. And Crafty Bin videos take so take a lot more work because there's a lot of a lot of editing involved in those videos because there's drying time that you have to cut out so the video the time that it actually takes to create a crafty bin video is a lot longer than the video you actually get. Originally we were going to do it as a mm -hmm. separate channel. We actually have a separate channel registered at some point in the future yeah. we do decide to do that. Mm -hmm. But right now it's more it's easier for us especially with Tegan being so young and mm -hmm. how long the videos take and the two channels that we already maintain. Yeah. It's just better for us to do a crafty bin video like every yeah. week or every other week. You know the same thing goes with the gaming channel. So. Mom's Aubrey Toys asks, will you guys come to Canada? I if need, we get a passport, yeah, I need to get, we could come to Canada. <laughs> I need to get my passport. I don't know. Do you still have a passport? Mine expired. I need to get a new one. So, so maybe someday we'll come to Canada. If we had passports, we could go to Canada now and then you'd be able to find your midnight sparkle. I know. Let's go. Let's get a passport. <laughs> Apple Super Dragon Geek 1994 asks, I love you guys and your channels. My favorite segments are What's Ryan Tryin' and Happy Meal Review Time. My question is, have you seen the How to Train Your Dragon series on Netflix? If so, what do you think of it? And will you be reviewing any more How to Train Your Dragon stuff? We only saw like the first episode of the Netflix show. We love the movies. We couldn't really get into the Netflix show, but maybe we'll give it another shot one of these yeah, days. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. And as for reviewing more How to Train Your Dragon stuff, well, there's not really a lot of new stuff out there. I don't know if they're going to make a uh, third one. I don't know. Maybe some new stuff will come out for that, or maybe like new mystery minis or something. But Yeah, if something catches our eye, we'll pick it up, but we don't have any plans right now to review more but we do love we do dragons. love toothless we do love toothless it reminds us of our cat luck loop asks since y'all are big disney fans did y'all ever play the old online disney game called toontown the game closed in 2013 but fans have created public slash private servers of the game i've never played the toontown game i've never heard of the toontown game I don't old think. online disney game no i no, nope. of Sorry. course, I'm, I'm not much of a gamer to begin with. <laughs> no. Stephen Crawl asks, I have a couple of questions. Number one, what is your favorite color? I guess mine would have to be green. That's my go-to answer. Yeah, it is his go-to answer. Mine's a combo. Mine's orange-blue. I like them together. Orange and blue? Yes. You definitely like the fall colors. I do. I'm a fall fall color person. What was your favorite subject and least favorite subject in school and lunch and recess? do not count. My favorite subject was earth science and my least favorite was American studies. 
Huh. That's a good one. I don't know. Well, my least favorite was math of any sort of variety whatsoever. Hmm. But I always like do like the art classes and I liked history classes, so <laughs> we're the opposite when it comes to that. When it comes to that particular stuff, we're complete opposites. I'm a math sciencey person. He's the history artsy person. Yeah, I I always struggle at math. Mm. I still struggle at math. Will you ever make creepy twilight a regular thing? We we answered that. I think we answered this already. Yeah, I but think so. We we found that a little creepy twilight goes a long way. If she yeah. had her own channel where she was like posting stuff every single day, we or think, every week, we think it would get a little bit old. Mm -hmm. And this is a little behind the scenes, but that Rex creepy twilight wrecks my voice if I do it for <laughs> a prolonged period of time. Yeah, he can't talk. <laughs> Along with creepy twilight and Batman. Batman. That's kill why, his voice. That's why Batman never shows up mm -hmm. too, too often. <laughs> <laughs> he can't talk for quite a while after that. Number four, will you ever make advice videos for your audience? Well, I guess if anybody asks questions and needs advice, I mean, we won't get too personal. No. Or anything, but... We're not experts. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, if anybody needs YouTube advice. Yeah. But maybe not so much personal advice. <laughs> toy YouTube advice. Yeah, if you have any Ask them here. Yeah, if you need any advice on toy, <laughs> toy purchases or YouTube, leave a question down below. Yeah. And number five is another one we've already answered in one of our previous Q and A's. Is what are some of your favorite YouTubers? Um, quick answer, you know we covered this before, but uh, Chad Allen, Radio J H Audrey, Lastic. Crazy Pony Lady, of course, Lastic and Jenny, and Tim Tracker. Yep, Tim and Pre Rosanna Pantino. And Plush Time and Wins. And Plush Time Wins for him. Yep, me and Tegan. I don't really watch them. No, Tegan and I like watching Plush Time mm -hmm. Wins. Lizette Garcia goes, I have two questions. Number one, Ben, have you noticed that my profile pic is an anime girl version of Rainbow Dash? I actually printed it out. <laughs> I did. I do notice that. Yeah, it's really cool. I like it. What will your reaction be if someone made a fan fiction about human princess Luna marrying Count Dracula from Hotel Transylvania and they have a daughter that's a baticorn, half alicorn, half vampire? They should make a movie of that. That would make a really good movie. <laughs> I have no idea how to even picture that happening in my head. <laughs> Foxy the Pirate Fox says, just in case you're doing another Q&A, who is your celebrity crush? Ben? Dwayne the Rock Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have to think about that at all. How about you? Mine is also Dwayne the Rock <laughs> Also, who is your favorite? Hey, you didn't answer. Yes, I did. <laughs> <laughs> also, who is your favorite character from The Lion King? Mine is Scar. Hmm. Favorite character from The Lion King? Um. Pumbaa. <laughs> I have to go back and forth between Timon and Pumbaa. <laughs> yeah, I was like thinking, I was thinking along the same lines, but it's like, do you, do you separate them or together? So we'll just say Timon and Pumbaa. <laughs> Kaylee1954 says, have you seen my Sparta remix of T Creepy Twilight? And I haven't, I haven't. So can you leave a link down below? Yeah. I went to the channel and I couldn't find it either. So yeah, leave a link down below to your Sparta remix of Creepy Twilight. <laughs> I'm, I'm intrigued. Let's see, WebkinsDare56. Hi John and Ben, I have a question for future viewer Q&A. And my question is, what are your guys' thoughts on the newly announced monthly MLP subscription box? Would this be something you two would be interested in? Trying out and possibly fitting into your other monthly openings, such as Nerd Blog and Dino Drag. I hope so, because that would be awesome. Well, we actually saw the link. You probably are the one who brought it to our attention on Facebook. Yeah. But the thing is, with the MLP subscription box. Or torn. Yeah, it's like it sounds like an <laughs> awesome idea. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, would we get the box and like have like 90% of the stuff yeah. in it already? You know, is it going to be new stuff or is it going to be old stuff? Because if it was old stuff, then we'd be interested in it. But if it's the new and upcoming stuff, what are the odds that we don't have it already? 
because we yeah. try to stay on top of it for you guys. Yeah, so. and, and we're not sure if like, is it gonna be like blind bag figures? Is it gonna be combables? Is it gonna be like dollar store stuff? Like, you know, like those crayon fun packs, and yeah, trading cards? I think we need a little more info as to what they're gonna plan on putting in it before we decide whether we would do it. We would definitely do it if it's something that we wouldn't have already. Yeah, but we're thinking it's probably gonna be stuff we already keeping on top of, so mm -hmm. it'd be kind of uh, redundant. But we love the idea of a pony yeah. subscription box. Yeah. It'd be cool if it was like exclusive stuff that you couldn't yeah, get anywhere else. That would be cool. But, I like that. But I think the only way that would happen is if it was like run by Funko or Hasbro themselves. Right, and and it's not, right? It's no, like I think a it's a third, third party. party. And Louise Kazam asks, do you guys own a PS4 or no. Xbox One? No. no. We own a Wii U. And that's it. That's it. We, well, do it, we do own the uh, original Nintendo, but it's not hooked up to our TV. And we have a regular Wii. Yes, that's, yeah, we do. That's right, I forgot. Yeah. <laughs> we have that too, but we obviously don't use it. Yeah, we have the original 8-bit Nintendo, which mm -hmm. at the moment is just like for decoration. It's not plugged in, but we do have all the wires and a few games for it. We plan on using it in the future, but not right now. Dirt Tour Reviews says, hi guys, you are so awesome. Thanks. Do you guys have a favorite MLP episode, and which movie is your favorite? Favorite MLP episode of all time. Hmm. There are a lot of good ones. There are a lot of good ones. Probably, like, the first ones that come to mind would be, like, uh, the Shining Armor and Cadence wedding episode. Mm -hmm. Even though we like to poke fun at it, it is one of the best episodes. Um, I like the Paris Sprites episode with Pinkie Pie and her, like, every musical instrument known to man. Oh yeah, the one man band yeah, at the end yeah. that lures them away. Yeah. That was an early one. It was. Ah, oh, let's see. Um, Obviously I like the one where Big Mac is in, it's in the last season where Big Mac goes with Apple Bloom to the sister, sister thing. I'm also surprised Ben didn't say her favorite Disney movie is The Nightmare Before Christmas because of how much she loves Halloween. I, it's not one that really pops into my head as Disney. I mean, I know it is Disney, but when I think of favorite Disney movies, I really think of the Beauty classic, the Beast, yeah, Little Mermaid. animated yeah, ones. Yeah. I don't think of live action or stop motion. Stop motion, yeah. Okay, Ben, which doctors are your favorite? Mine is the fourth, David and Matt. I also like David and Matt for my doctors. Um, Peter Capaldi is starting to grow on me just a smidge. I didn't really like him very much at the beginning of season eight, but he's he's slowly getting better. I don't know. We'll see how he how he is now. Um, I'm not saying anything particular about what just happened on the doctor. So, um, but we'll. I don't know. Yeah, I like them all though. There isn't any that I don't like. Okay, Derp Tour has a few more questions oh, okay. to go here. Who is your favorite Monster High and Ever After High characters? I love the dolls, but I'm not really huge into the movies or anything. So, you I like you, Frankie. Yeah, I was going to say, you usually go with either Frankie or Draculaura. Yeah, I think, I think I'm more on the Frankie side right now. Uh, Ever After High. Um... Well, you know, we've seen more of the Ever After High we cartoons. We have. We haven't watched a new Dragon one that just came on no, Netflix. No, but I have to watch. That. I'd have to pay. I, I'll take this one. I uh, oh, okay. I think the favorite is uh, Raven Queen, right? I do like her. I like Madeline Hatter as well. Well, I, I don't mind Madeline Hatter, but she seems like such, obviously, like kind of not. I don't know if rip off is the right word. She's a Pinkie Pie. Yeah, she seems yeah. too close to comfort to Pinkie Pie for me. Mm -hmm. You know, Pinky came first, and then yeah. Madeline came, and they seem very, very similar in character to me. A little too close. They are very similar, yeah. But yes, I like uh, Raven, and I also like um, uh, Dexter Charming as well. Um, let's see. She also wants to know: Are we planning on reviewing the new Hasbro Disney Princess dolls, Descendants dolls, and Star Darling dolls? Um, we probably will. Look at the new Disney dolls at some point, especially the tiny, the kingdom. tiny kingdom ones. Um, probably the full size ones. Yeah, I, I don't know about those. Yeah, we'll probably pick and choose. Um, we never really did them um, before when they were Mattel. So no, just the occasional yeah. Frozen doll because you know those are the only right. Frozen dolls really, except for Disney store ones. And um, 
Descendants. I don't know, maybe. Maybe. We've been talking about maybe, Descendants, yeah. you know, maybe doing like some skits with yeah. Equestria Girls, like kind of like a crossover, like funny stuff. Yeah, but as far as an official review, I don't know. I don't know. That's still up in the air. Yeah. And Star Darlings. And we, we did see Descendants, the movie, though. We so did see it, yeah. We do know the character, so we may yep. we may circle around to Descendants. Maybe, maybe. We find a good sale or something. Yeah. Star Darlings? Uh, not sure. I I'm don't not, know. We haven't really seen them too much around here yet. No. So we haven't really taken a close look at them. They look nice, but, you know, we're not really huge doll collectors. You know, I mean, we have a lot of Monster High and a lot, a lot of Ever After High, but we're not really huge on the doll collecting side of toys. We're more into the figures. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Betty Jean Ransford asked, John, this is for you. Who is older, you or Jenna? And Ben, do you have any brothers or sisters? You guys make me smile every day. Thank you and have a good night. I am the oldest. Jenna is the middle child, and we actually have a younger brother who's never made a YouTube <laughs> debut before. And I am an only child. Rainbow Optimus asks, what do you think of the live-action Transformers movies? I like them. John... Yeah, they're okay. They're okay. <laughs> they're all the... In my eyes, they're all the same, and a lot of times I've fallen asleep just because there's so much... It's like... My brain like shuts down. There's like so much going on and I can't tell what's going on. And then I'm like. He has a hard time telling the difference between the good Transformers and the bad yes, Transformers there's so much going where on. there's fighting. And there's like. Duh, 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 and like the screen's going everywhere. And a lot of, and a couple of them we've gone to in the theater. I've fallen asleep because I, my, my brain like gives up trying to figure out what's going on. And I like fall asleep. <laughs> there are some uh, funny moments and uh. I, I, I think, think I, the, first, the one. first one is my favorite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's like, like... And this last one that came out I liked. I don't even remember. <laughs> but oh, I, I, I don't think I saw that one. That's the one that had like a Rainbow Dash cameo in it. Yes, yeah, so I, I think With the I... The dino, dinosaur robots or something? Yeah, the I liked the last one that came out and the first one. The middle, yeah. I couldn't tell you the plot of any of them. <laughs> Leandra Deere asks, do the both of you have a Halloween costume that you wore as a kid that you loved? And if not, what were the costumes that you remember wearing? Oh, hold on. I I actually have my favorite costume here. You do? I do. Hold that thought. You can answer while I go get it. I want to show them. I didn't know she had any childhood Halloween costumes here. I don't know. Most of my childhood Halloween costumes were those like plastic like smocks with like the character's face on it and then like the plastic mask with the uh, elastic band around the back. I remember I was a pound puppy one year and Snoopy and Bugs Bunny but I don't remember too many Halloween costumes other than those. I think I was a California Raisin one year. Aww. <laughs> Can you hold that? I wanted to be Cheer Bear for Halloween, but I wanted to be blue because I didn't like pink. <laughs> I so, didn't know this was I didn't know this still existed. So my mom made me this costume. Aww. <laughs> yeah. I have, you know, it's a full full suit. It has pants that are the same and little boot covers. In little mittens, little gloves that go with it. That costume smells like a basement. Well, it's only <laughs> about 20 years old. 20, Ben. Okay, maybe a little bit older than that. <laughs> <laughs> nice try, Ben. I don't know how old I was when she made that. Siamese lover, what are your pets? What are your pets you have, and do you like Taylor Swift? We have a turtle named Daisy. One pet. We yeah. have a cat named Onyx. A black cat named Onyx. A cat named Molly. And that's it. Those that's are our it. three pets. Yeah. And Taylor Swift. Yeah. Yes. I mean, we're, we're, um, I listen to the radio, to music on the radio. John <laughs> doesn't. I just use my iPod. Um, I like her music, but we're, we're not, um, we don't have any artists that we absolutely love or anything. Quiet you. Asks, have you ever seen the movie Home Alone? Many, many, many times. Many times. But not recently at all. It's probably been a good 15, 
20 years. I don't know. It's been a while. At least a decade. Didn't we watch... We tried to watch it this past Christmas yeah. on AMC, but there were commercial breaks, like, every two seconds, it yeah, felt like. Yeah, I think we made it, like, a quarter of the way in, and we said we couldn't do yeah, it. Yeah, we couldn't do it. We'd, like, we'll, we'll wait for Netflix or mm -hmm. something. Ask Insane Darko. Here's another one with all sorts of crazy questions. Ready? <laughs> what do you think of the furry fandom? Not, no comment. <laughs> and not really familiar with it. Mm-mm. How is Creepy Twilight doing? Oh, she's doing good. You'll actually see her in a video on the main channel in a few days. Mm -hmm. She'll make a guest appearance. Yep. What is your favorite Lion King Lion Guard character? Mine is Timon, Pumbaa, Scar, the Hyenas, and Jonga. Who is a hyena on the Lion Guard? Mm hmm Jonja, I guess. Jonja. Jonja. Uh, we already said Timon and Pumbaa. I think you and uh, who's the other one who asked the Lion King question? Lion Guard, right? Favorite on Lion Guard? Lion King slash Guard. Oh, oh, oh. But on Lion Guard, hmm. If you have I to like pick Kion. one of the new characters, Kion. I like Kion. Um, I also what about like. What Yeah. I mean, there's none that I don't like. Bunga. Uh, Bunga is just crazy. <laughs> But um, I think I like lives. I think I like Kion. Goofiest question ever. Would you rather have a cute lion that's small and that smells like strawberries, or a sneaky steak with a scar on its eye that's big and smells like bad jelly beans? I'm gonna go with the little lion. I'm going with the strawberry scented lion as well. Yeah. I, I think a better question, a better way to do that question, but would you rather have the cute, cuddly, small lion... That stinks? Yeah, that stinks, or the big, ugly snake that smells like strawberries. Now that's a, that's something to think about. Could I just give the lion a bath? Jay Norris, who is JN1 on Twitter, asks Ben, how do you like your Keurig coffee machine that you got for Christmas? I love it! I love it, I love it. I use it every day. Of course, I drink decaf coffee now, but I still... Love it. We're actually thinking of getting a juicer for this summer and do some juicing. Yeah, yeah you know, so like we're going to have... Put in the carrot. We're not going to have any counter space soon. <laughs> we're going to have a carrot, <laughs> a juicer. Deacon still has a formula machine, so we have no counter space. <laughs> so there we go. That so, was a long viewer Q&A video. It was. We're was getting, a lot of questions. We're getting more and more questions. So if you guys have a question, uh, leave it down below. Mm -hmm. And here's to a great February. I think it's going to fly right by. Yeah, it's going to go fast. See I you think. tomorrow, everybody. Bye. <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> what? You little rascal. A little rascal? Yeah. A good little rascal or a bad little rascal? I'm going to go out and play. Do you like it? I'm going to go out and play baseball. You need to wear it backward.